We've lost 70% of the winged insects worldwide. It's a bug apocalypse. It's this ripple effect, scientists say, of what happens next, what do we lose next? You start to lose these little pieces of a relatively intact ecosystem, and then the pieces just start to fall apart. We need bugs. Without bugs, we're done. Water managers in this state moose can the moon. They are the most pathetic I've ever read. They don't have to care. They're God. But we have a number of studies, uh, dozens of studies, showing declines of insect abundances, stoneflies, mayflies, caddis, on different rivers throughout the world. And we've lost a lot of different species as well. The vast majority of the people that fish these days don't really realize that there is a problem because they didn't fish 40 years ago. If we run into salmon flies, you know, it seems almost like a uh, once in a lifetime event at this point. We're at the heart of the climate issue here in Glacier National Park. We've got two important stoneflies, the glacier stonefly and the meltwater stonefly, that have just been put on the endangered species list. We have to learn to speak up a little bit more and a little louder and a lot clearer to protect and preserve what we have left. You used to get phenomenal hatches. It was difficult because there'd be four different insects hatching. No more. They're all isolated hatches now. Next question. <laughs>